So as I've mentioned, the BM horizon is the diagnostic horizon for this particular profile. So that's the reddish horizon that we see right here, the fairly bright red horizon. And when we, if we work through the soil classification keys, uh, part of what we're saying in terms of this being sort of a junior soil or a soil on its way is that the BM horizon is one of the last, one of the last horizons to drop out, or the Brunosolic order as a whole is one of the last horizons to drop out. Because the M, that sort of moderately developed soil, it lacks any of the characteristics of its uh, better developed cousins. It doesn't have the BT horizon or the BF horizon that's characteristic of the Podzolic order. So it is just sort of a moderately developed soil. It has some soil forming processes evident, but uh, not anything uh, significant enough to move it to another order. In terms of the characteristics of the individual horizons then, if we look at these, there's not a whole lot to, to talk about here. We can talk briefly about uh, the color. So looking at our, our surface horizon here, the AHE horizon, We've got a mixture of, uh, with a little bit of charcoal in here, but it's a fairly dark colored horizon. And uh, it would probably end up somewhere in the order of the, within the 10YR, along the order of, uh, say, 3 over 2. And uh, there's quite a mixture of colors within this, depending on, uh, the or on which individual grains you focus on, but sort of in the order of 3 over 2 or 3, uh, 3 over 2.5. So moving down to the to the BM horizon, this is that characteristic very very reddish horizon within the within the soil profile. If we look at the color of it, so all of a sudden we've moved way over in terms of the chroma. So it's a much uh, a much brighter chroma, and so we can see that we've moved over here into the uh, the six and eight range of the of the possible chromas, probably somewhere in the order of 10 YR. Uh, 5 over 8 over here. So quite a bright reddish color in the B horizon. Then moving below that to that transitional BC horizon, we can see that it gets just a little bit lighter. So where we were at uh, 5 over 8 before, now we're maybe a little bit higher up on this, um, sort of more on the order of uh, 6 over 6 in terms of the overall, uh, the 10 YR 6 over 6 for the overall color, maybe even transitional to, uh, to, to 6 over 8, but a little bit lighter in color in terms of the, for, the, for that transitional horizon as we move down to the C horizon, which would probably be a little bit lighter still, so moving a little further up in terms of, the, in terms of its value. So I won't go through these ones and do a, 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 a detailed description of the, the structure, basically because there isn't much to say in terms of structure. Even if we look at the, the, the big pile of uh, material that we dug out of the hole here, uh, in the same way that we refer to the parent material in a glacial till landscape as, as being structureless, this would also be referred to as structureless, but instead of describing it as massive, we would probably refer to it more so as single-grained, because this is really just fantastic sandbox sand. As we were digging it out, I was saying, I wish we could bring some home for my son's sandbox. And it just falls apart very, very nicely, and you can easily imagine him wetting it up and building nice sand castles with it, but it doesn't really have any significant structural units on its own. So I can tell you that it's a sandy texture, but just for, for demonstration purposes, just so you can see what it would look like relative to some of the other soils that you've seen us uh, do the texture on. If I take a little bit of this in my hand and wet it up, so you would really, even if you were making your sand castle with this, you would really have to pound it into your bucket to get it to stick together. So unlike the other soils where they, you, it would form a nice strong ball, even when we were just working it together, this still, the, just the ball itself falls apart readily. And we try and, if we try and make a ribbon with this, well, it just, it just doesn't. A little, it just falls apart immediately. And so this is pretty much in terms of its, the, the texture of this, we would just describe this as sand. And it would probably be a fairly coarse sandy material in terms of how it, how it feels, coarse to medium sand in terms of how that feels in tr for its grittiness in the palm of the hand.